kazettát, akkor még ilyen kazettás magnók voltak 96 környékén, aki egy hajón dolgozott és ott töltötte a szabadságát. Goán. 97-ben találkoztam először a Go zenével, egy kultúrával, egy kenguru bulindul a varsányban. Az volt talán az első mérföldköve Magyarországon ennek a szájkedelikus trendstílusnak. Ott láttam először live act ami nekem olyan volt, mintha végre olyan emberekkel találkoztam volna, akik hasonszörűek, mint én. Akkor így meg is fogott a dolog, és úgy is maradtam. Egy külföldi arc keresett meg, Shakespeare-nek hívták, William Shakespeare, és tőle hallottam azt, hogy Magyarországon lesz egy olyan fesztivál, amire az egész világ különböző pontjairól fognak érkezni. 99. januárjában láttuk meg a Süsfánaba Ozora Flyer-t. Ozorán életemben nem hallottam erről a helyről. Elképzelésünk nem volt, hogy mi lesz az. Én nekem onnan indult, tehát onnan datálódik Ozora, tehát az, az az élmény, amit ott, ott kaptam a a nagy színpad, a, a sopsor, a minden, ami gyakorlatilag azóta is ugyanúgy van. Tehát a maga, a lényege az tényleg ott alakult ki. I'm Duncan. I'm Penny. And we're off to a resort today. We live in Maramorish, which is where? Transylvania. Northern Transylvania. Northern Romania, to be exact. And we've got a how many hour drive? 12 hours or something. Oh, we might stop off along the way. If she makes it. Top speed, 60 kilometers an hour, maybe 70. 40 years old. Unchet, unchet, as they say here. Come on, let's go, let's do it.
tiszteletben részt vevő, majdnem két tucat alkotó elkezdte építeni ezt a kertet. Művészek, szakmunkások, családanyák, gyerekekkel, mindenki egy közös célért dolgozik, hogy az ide látogatók jól érezzék magukat és izgalmas pontokat tudjanak felfedezni ezen az egyenlő szép területen. I'm so excited about this slot I'm playing on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, I've been working on lots of new stuff, uh, especially for it. I was just blown away uh, last year by it when I, well, I didn't play it. It's my first year playing this time, but I was just blown away by all the stuff going on there. It was like, it's like a little village going on that, that comes alive um, for seven days every year, you know, and uh, it's, it's, I, can't wait. I can't wait for it. I'm really looking forward to this one. with the girls. Hi, my name is Monica. I'm 27. I'm coming from Bucharest. I've never been there, but I imagine it's full of beautiful, young, colorful people. That when I get there and I see all those people, the light motif of this journey is going to be kissing everybody. love and I want to get a lot of love. It's my first time there. We are traveling from Bucharest and really I can't wait to get there. <laughs> Hello, I am Alexandra. I come from Romania with love. With love and wine. <laughs> with love and wine. And Suica and Palinka. With Suica and Palinka and everything you want. I have everything you desire. <laughs> My name is perfection really. or trance festival.
essential party items. We're going to crack it open now and celebrate on our way to a Christmas. Come as soon as the gates open, set up your camp, meet people, watch the festival grow into life, watch the music start, enjoy the after parties after you've been here for a week and just see everything coming back to what it was from the beginning and take all that beauty with you back home. experience changes your life forever you know I mean I don't think there's any way you can uh, see the world the same you know after you've, you've been through that experience, experience.
is extremely efficient. DNA is the most powerful storage device in the universe. Not even with all the supercomputers combined in the world could we store as much information as we could store on DNA. land, the land here and the landscape. And also a very important part is that the owner of the land is involved. They have an amazing impact on the things that they want to do with the festival. And then of course all the crews working here uh, all contribute to an amazing vibe. It's, uh, it's beautiful. It's like a permanent purpose-built playground which is only set up for this one event, and I think that's uh, amazing. I think it's really special. You know, over the years, uh, you know, little bits have been added, and uh, the result of it, I think it's the, the best party in Europe right now, so yeah. You walk around in, in the forest, and there's different infrastructures built, like there's uh, tree houses, or, you know, I was walking past, and there was this uh, workshops going on, people doing yoga, meditation, teaching stuff. It's like a little, it's like a, a village, you know? I've, I've found it to be my favourite in Europe. I love it. I love it, Hungary!
What is the psychedelic festival about, if not about the psyche and the expansion of consciousness? If they understood the deeper meanings behind the kinds of experiences they're having, then there's perhaps the opportunity to make a difference inside the being and to take it home and make a difference in their life. We have come here to uh, spread the message about an evolution of consciousness. I think you can find a lot of very conscious people, and very, yeah, awakening people. So many things to talk about and to listen, to learn. You actually take the time to be present, not just thinking about where you're going. Possibility and opportunity to learn something, not just to have fun. I really believe that people go back home with something inside that they can try to integrate in everyday life. Akik ide jönnek, ők törekednek egyfajta magasabb tudatszintre, vagy tudásszintre, elfogadásra, befogadásra és megélésre és tapasztalásra. A kreativitás, a szabadság, tulajdonképpen az autentikusságnak a lehetősége nyilvánvaló. Amit láttam, az megihlető és egy olyan szellemnek a nyoma, ami remélem soha nem hal ki. I know this culture since few years actually, but uh, the more I I know about it, the more I feel that like it's part of my life and part of my path. I like the way technology, art and culture meld together to create something new. It's not just music, it's a lifestyle, it's a way of expression and it's freedom of thought maybe. You can go deep into spirituality and all those other things if you want to, but for me it equates to the simple things like, you know, what, what the vibe is like on the dance floor and the locations they choose to do the parties in. You know, it's the, the best out of any, any scene that I've been involved with, you know. spirit is, is culture is a way of life it is you know it's, it's all about the connections between people from all over the world it's about a philosophy of you know positivity many people that come to this kind of festival they they feel like they are part of a family to think of themselves not just as an individual but as a part of a community of human beings and uh, part of community of the whole planet. It is a community. So people from everywhere, people who met each other in India. He from Mexico, I'm from Russia. I met in India. In Goa. In Goa. Yeah. In the parties. Trans Goa party. connection. <laughs> India connection, yeah. Az emberek segítik egymást, így gyakorlatilag bárki bárkitől tud kérni valamilyen szívességet, vagy ha segítségre van szükség, akkor bárkit meg tud szólítani, és ez egy, ez egy nagyon jó hangulatot teremt és egy nagyon közösségi érzést hoz létre. The people who I idolize, the musicians who I idolize, and now I see them all the time. I'm good friends with them. And we all help each other. You go in a place where you confront all these things that maybe you have never seen in your life and all these colorful people. And they just stop right in front of you and then you have to deal with it. <laughs> minden korosztály, az egészen fiataltól, az egész időség, a mindenféle bőrszínig, nagyon sok kultúra, nagyon sok ember, nagyon sok nézet, 
találkozik egy helyen, és, és, és gyakorlatilag mindenki megosztja a tudását, az ismeretét, a, a világlátását. Ennyiféle emberrel találkozni egy hét alatt, az már önmagában egy hatalmas élmény. Itt olyan kapcsolatok születnek, amik biztos, hogy a fesztivál keretein kívül is, is nagyon életképesek. I would say, of course, there is a market here of buying food and using money and everything. And there's gadgets and whatever you can buy your own little, I don't know, laser pointer and stuff. But in general, the consumption here is based on what you need more than just I don't know, satisfying psychological needs. So you need to eat, you buy food. You come with a mask and then you meet the people, you face them, and the people give you this big smile. <laughs> and then eventually you have to, to, to give it back. There is no other way. It's the only way. I think there are many people coming to this festival for the first time, maybe with a different attitude, but uh, I like that uh, the family is open, the community is open and slowly, slowly these people get integrated in, into this family. Even if they don't know each other, if it's water, if it's food, if it's love, you know, you feel it everywhere. Yeah. When, when new people come to the scene that they've never been before, they feel it, like it's different, you know? So there has been a very big new generation coming to the festival. We're not always following the, I don't know, the unwritten rules of the scene. But you also have to remember that we were all once young and maybe not really following the rules. Látják, hogy itt ez a ez az alap, ez az átlag, ez a közös nevező, és ezért az újak is látják, hogy ez egy működő dolog. Mindenki barátságosan fog válaszolni, hogyha megszólítjuk barátságosan, és ez egy ez egy nagyon jó dolog, ami az újakra biztosan nagy hatással van.
and it's going to be messy. And, and then you bring her here. And it, I mean, it was a new experience for us as well. We didn't really know what to expect. And then we come there and like, oh, this shit's really, I mean, she's having more fun than we yeah, have. She's having more I fun mean, she's us. getting so much attention. She's playing. Really, she gets to spill all the water she wants, all the food everywhere, like mud. I mean, she, it's, it's, it's so much fun for her. There's a lot of kids over here, a lot of kids. I always bring my kids to parties. I can't leave them at home, you know. <laughs> what do you want to say about the party, Ben? Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. We like to be on the dance floor. So for us, it's a little bit different. But I mean, she comes with us, we stand behind the speakers, we have a little tent, so she's there a few hours. And it's been a good week, it hasn't been too sunny. So she stands there with her earphones and she dances. And we have a lot of friends over here. They take care of her as well. caring for the place where we have this amazing opportunity to have a festival, not throwing trash everywhere or being very irresponsible with drinking, etc. The only way to show this is having role models and people acting in a, in a responsible way because that's what people see and that's what people will follow. In the, in the spirit of how it was created, with this wanting for change and peace and everything, that's how it should continue. We should keep going, keep going, and see where it takes us. The growth of the Magic Garden is a very, very good example of how you can inspire people to do things, just not when you're in the festival, but in other places as well. Shock féle, csoport, külön féle helyszíneken működött, de egy gondolat vezette őket ennek a kultúrának a kibontása. Van, aki mozgásra vágyott, az mozgást talál. Aki kézműves alkotó munkára vágyott, az is megtalálta ott ezt a tevékenységet. Aki koncerteket akart este hallgatni, az is megtalálta ott a szórakozást. Aki előadásokra vagy a kultúrának az elméleti dolgaira volt kíváncsi, az is megtalálta, amit keresett a győrben. Egy baráti társaság, emberek, akik összegyűltek azért, hogy közösen ebben a fesztiválon létrehozzanak valamit. Mindenki hozza azt, amit tud, és ebből összejön egy egész, ami végül a pumpúj lesz. Legyen az zenélés, legyen az mozi, legyen az kamerázás. many different reasons, sometimes just because they were cold, sometimes just because they were like very tired and sometimes for a like uh, psychological issue like they split with a boyfriend or a girlfriend and they need somebody to talk with you know so we were really taking care 360 degree. We had less cases than uh, in other festival with the same number of people. When I spoke with the owner of the land he told me, I want to make sure that people go back home safe. It's very difficult to organize such a big festival, but uh, there is the intention to, to do it in a nice way. I appreciate this very much. I'm no angel, but I'm more empathetic with other people because of that, yeah, because of feeling that sort of unity. It definitely made me more aware of who I am and what I do and consequences. Felébresztette bennem a további kíváncsiságot, meg az életerőt, meg hogy menni kell tapasztalni, és minél több mindent megélni, mert, mert abból lehet igazán tanulni. But it made me feel comfortable in my own clothes, yeah? It's who I am. After I go out with more energy than I come, 
the energy you give, you you get more back. Yeah. Everybody give and get more back. Gyakorlatilag tiszta lappal indulhat és felépíthet magának egy teljesen pozitív mentális környezetet, ami utána biztos, hogy életminőség javító hatással lesz rá, és ezért ezt vissza tudja vinni a stresszes, feszült társadalomba. Tehát szerintem ennek van egy ilyen nagyon hasznos funkciója kifelé is. Well, the people are happy in Huzora, well done. You found my favorite party in Europe, so well done. And anyone who hasn't been, you should come. It's as simple as that, isn't it? I can really see the potential for it to make a really positive impact on people's lives. So what I would really hope for people to take home from here is respecting each other and remembering that you don't actually need that much to be happy. You just need some music and some good people around you. And just that little thing of being satisfied with what you have is, I think, that's the basic thing for societies to evolve. I was really uh, in love with the whole music I discovered, and uh, I wanted to make parties and, and, and to get it out there to the people and, and, and create my own thing. So I did that for a while, and uh, I wasn't ever really interested in DJing or at the beginning for years. I was just, you know, loved uh, partying and making parties and stuff. And, had my first gig at a house party of a friend and then I played my own club night for the first time which was you know amazing after doing it for that long. I kind of got bored after a while and I wanted to know how this music is created and, and essentially how I can create the sounds that are going on in my head. The full on I make is sort of I'd say you know groovy psychedelic daytime for long but it also has got that tougher edge where you can play some of it in the night you know so it's, it's kind of a crossover. It is this big gathering of the tribes feels like I've come home. Where we really want to be is singing in the rainforest, naked, stoned, and exalted. I'm in the festival circuit all year round, whether I'm in clubs or around the music, and uh, I love it, you know, I, I live it and I love it, and it's the, for me it's the best job in the world. One with the giant spirit of the planet.
the Azorians out there, absolutely big love to you. I, the set here was my favorite I have ever had. And you absolutely made it for me the whole way, jumping with me all the way, smiling and dancing. And I just want to thank you because um, I can't, you know, I cannot get this smile and this feeling out of my, out of my body. It's beautiful. Thank you. I came for four days before I played just to be on that dance floor because that is where I get my inspiration. Well, the people that haven't been here, it is a must do in your life. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. This is more than a festival, this is an experience. I'm having the time of my life here. Whether or not I play here, I'm gonna come here every year because you know I, I came here last year just to party and it is the best festival on the planet. I mean that. Yeah.